Now listen here to me. Coming from an old man that's single, living in South America <laughs> alone. Here's a little bit of advice. Live life to the fullest, my friend. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on that wild ideas that you have because those wild ideas are going to make you sustainable. It's going to make you stand up above all things in the world. You are going to become a legend for your dreams. Follow your path, your heart. It's time we change things. It's time we do things differently. Don't you agree? I think it's time that we unite. I think it's time that we bring out the best in humanity, not the bad things in humanity. Let us not engage on these futile little ideas that radicals are trying to push into our society where a mother and a father has no value. Let's not engage in those negativities. Let's not engage in this gender affirming actions and rubbish that's out there. Let's acknowledge the threat that's there to humanity. Acknowledge the threat that's there to our children. But rather not focus on that the whole time. Let's embrace something new. Let's create something new. Don't you get it? We are getting to a point where things are being broken down to the core to the rotten core that it is. So now is the time for us truth seekers, in innovators, creators, people that think beyond the normal comprehension, you know, the off-gridders, the survivalists, the people that's out there seeking peace, tranquility, harmony, and just to be led alone, you know, those kind of people that's just had enough of this madness we are being bombarded with so much propaganda and rubbish and nonsense that we forget about our humanity. Humanity is what is important to all of us because it connects us all to something greater than life. We are connected, all of us. We can sense each other's energies, emotions if we let ourselves open to those opportunities. We have the power within ourselves to uplift the lives of those living in poverty and in fear and those living in suppression. I mean, we have the power to bring something new to life that's going to uplift the lives of those faced with fear and living in darkness. Together we can create something awesome. I mean, how great is life? It's up to you and I to make it happen. I know my Spanish is limited, my Guarani even more so. But when I get passionate, I always revert back to English. And English is not even my first language. But I pray and I hope whoever hears this message knows there's a place for you. Know there is a place where you can belong, a place where you can work towards a place where everybody is accepted. Our past is our past. Our presence and futures is what we determine people about. This is how we classify people. Who you are. What do you have to offer? What do you want out of life? Those kind of questions is important to me because it's important to humanity. It's not about individual greed. It's not about control or anything like that. And the people that, in, that is involved in Camino Verde all knows I don't want to be a chief or anything like that. I want to be in the background. I want to work the fields. I want to bring new ideas to life. I want to work on the ground level up. Because for me, what is important is the project. It's about what we can achieve. I love you all. I haven't met any of you. Most probably I've met some of you, but I love you. And I hope and pray that you will find in your heart the desire to evolve from negativity, to grow from negativity, to grow from vengeance and hate and 
all these horrible things in life and open your heart to beauty, to love, to the divine God, Christ Almighty. To open our hearts to a new life of peace, tranquility and harmony where we not only heal our humanity but also our environment, our local economy so that people do not have the need to live in poverty. So I pray with you all and I hope and pray that God, the divine creator of all life, will bless you and f give you peace above all and clarity of mind because God rewards those who work and those who try, not the ones that always pray and do nothing in life. God rewards the man that treats a woman above all else as sacred, with respect. God rewards the man that stands alongside his woman and picks her up in life. He acknowledges her strengths, her weaknesses, and so does she him. And through their joint efforts, through their joint commitment in life, they will achieve greatness. God bless those who speak in peace and in harmony instead of in vengeance and hate. God opens the eyes to those who believe in something greater than ourselves, to the truth that is and the truth that is being portrayed. God guides us to a greatness. God guides us through everything in life. But God guides us through strength, through courage, through the workings of our hands, we will earn a living. Through our labor, we will generate a sustainable living. God guides us to sustainability where we can all live in harmony and never be without anything. But we have to work for it, not just sit and pray for it because this is not what God wants. And I pray today you find the clarity to find the peace and drive in life you need as a person, as a man and as a woman, as a mother, as a father, as a brother, as a sister, as a son, as a daughter, the way God created us. We are all equal. It is time that we unite in our efforts to heal humanity. Amen. 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 And I hope this gives you some peace and some tranquility and some inner guidance. You can be holy. You can be religious, spiritual. And you can still be a part of this world. Don't live in the pretense that you are holier than other people, that your voice is stronger than others. You have to embrace the tranquility and calmness and strength to accept everybody has a voice. But in between all our voices, there is truth. There is harmony, there is peace, there is a way to resolve conflict. And there is ways to to build bridges. We need to build bridges. We need to unite. We need to find some peace and some tranquility in life where we are surrendering to something better than anger, something that's better than dividing people into different categories and classes according to sex, color, and religion. Let's get away from all these things. Let's unite people in a harmonious, peaceful manner. Let's heal humanity without going mad. Let's heal the environment without losing our marbles. You can't fuel electric cars without electricity. And without electricity, we are stuck. And we need for electricity coal. We need natural resources, things that we're trying to clamp down, it's not going to work. The infrastructure is not there, but yet we are paying taxes for it. 
Don't you see? That is the global scam around the world. We're paying taxes upon taxes upon taxes from where governments take our wages 50, 40 percent. All of a sudden, with all these added taxes, if you work it out logically, we are paying 70% taxes on what we are earning. We're depriving our family of 70% of our time to a happy family environment. We are chasing the rabbit down a hole which doesn't stop, so we need to make it stop. Change things, change who you were, change who you are, change who you want to be. Let's become better as humans. Let's create a better world. I'm not just talking about Camino Verde, which is in the making. It's happening. Even if I'm sitting here, people are already working on it. People are doing things. The new project is going forward. We got the land. We got the blessings we have, we needed, we've prayed for, and hard work, determination, pushing yourself, being exploited, being pushed out there, putting yourself out in your comfort zone, that's what life is about. I'm not comfortable in the public seat, I'm not comfortable in a leadership, you know, I, I, I want to be the guy at the background that's doing the work, and these kind of things, but you know what? I listen to God and God guides me and I know I'm going to get a replacement. I'm going to get somebody that's phenomenal to take my seat, to take over this project because it needs to continue. It needs to grow, not just one colony, multiple colonies across South America, never mind Paraguay. Paraguay is our focus because I live here. This is my home. This is where the magic started. And this is where we're going to grow things and we're going to ripple effect out and we're going to branch it out. I'm already speaking to people in other governments in South America about the project and what we're trying to achieve and things like that. And they are getting involved and things are going to happen rapidly, but we need the right people. So if you want to come with us outside town, about 17 kilometers, I think, plus minus from Itacorubi de la Cordillera, up the mountains, hill pass <laughs> it's just phenomenal the views is awesome but the road there is treacherous but we're going to work on it but if you want to join us and you want to create something with us to create a better world that we all have a say in a little living environment a colony of people international as well as locals and we create something awesome don't you think that's worthwhile I think that is the most phenomenal goal in life, to create a world where we can live easier, work less, so we have more time for our family, for our community, for our own mental, spiritual well-being, for our own physical well-being, where we can enjoy nature, each other's company, arts, crafts, music, food, Things like that. That's what we're trying to achieve. A self-sustaining community. A self-sustaining community in all sense where we don't rely on any government assistance, where we don't rely on any outside sources, where we grow and produce our own food, our own products, which we make available to the marketplace. And that is how the whole community makes a sustainable living. Besides that, we get to trade with other farmers. They have something we want. We have something they want. We trade. This is the beauty of it. This is the new way forward in humanity. Simplify things. Don't complicate things. All profits that's made by the community through our joint efforts get shared equally. I mean, doesn't that just make sense to you? Anyway, some people will enjoy this video. Some people will hate this video. Some people just hate me, irrelevant if they know me or not. But I, I truly hope this message and this video reach the right people, to see that people can transform their lives, people can move forward in life. A lot of people out there, including myself, have paid dearly to where we are today. We've paid with blood, we've paid with cries, loneliness. We've walked a journey that was hard, it was never easy. But we've grown from that. 
We've paid all our dues, no matter who you are, no matter where you are from. You've paid your dues. If you have a repented heart, God is accepting you with open hearts. I'm not a minister that's just normal. I'm out-the-box kind of person. I follow more the path of spirituality about bringing harmony to people and sustainability. Using my philanthropy to create a living environment where people are sustainable. To create an environment where people become independent. People become innovators, creators. And they all work together to create something more precious than individual greed. By putting resources together, skills, knowledge, that's the thing, knowledge, experience, bringing that together and saying, hold on, this is my idea. But then somebody else comes with a better idea and bring that in. People with skills and knowledge about the climate, the, the environment we're working with, the rainfall, you know, agriculture, inviting all of them from all over to work together to create a better world. Engineers, electricians, nurses, teachers, people that want to become something better than what they are currently. People that want a better life, that's who we invite here. And to create something awesome is just, it's a magical moment. It comes with a lot of obstacles. That's the nice way of putting it. But it does come with that. But it comes with so many more rewards. It outweighs everything else. If you throw caution to the wind and say, you know what, I've lived a life being a prisoner of a system where I deprive my family of 70% of my time, where 30% is to provide for them, where I sacrifice everything, my happiness, my joy, my, my, my belonging. Because a lot of us become disconnected because we live such pressured lives. So if those lives don't serve you and you want something else, then join something like Camino Verde, Paraguay. I mean, live life, try something new. God knows you've struggled enough, man. You have the knowledge, the power, the skills, the, the power within you to just grow. Look, I love you. Reach out anytime and... God bless.